Now, with the family feuds erupting over vaccines, some teens are now taking on their parents, fighting to get the shots they never received when they were younger. This as cases of the measles and mumps spread across the country. According to the CDC, so far this year, there are 101 cases of the measles in 10 states and 58 cases of the mumps in 18 states. Lindsay Davis is here with more. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Michael. This is a complicated one. Here's the basic premise. A teenager who feels that they have to defy their parents in order to undergo what they consider to be potentially life-saving measures, such as the story of Ethan Lindenberger. For Ethan Lindenberger, turning 18 was all about liberation, not that of a typical teen focused on college or voting, but the emancipation he sought was all about the right to get vaccinated. I saw that my situation was a little more unique than I had you know, come to believe. After his mother learned she could opt out, she chose to never give the Ohio teen any vaccines, which is why he took to Reddit to figure out how. Writing, my parents think vaccines are some kind of government scheme. I've had countless arguments over the topic, but because of their beliefs, I've never been vaccinated for anything. God knows how I'm still alive. That post went viral. His mother says his choice to get vaccinated was difficult to accept. The hardest thing for me was the shock of him choosing to immunize. But it sparked a lot of discussion within the family. My oldest daughter is absolutely against vaccinations. Um, my 14 year old is also against it. And my 16 year old says, I wanna do more research. Opening our eyes to what is there, uh, I think is, is great. There's a distinguishing uh, difference between disagreeing with a parent and trying to disobey them out of spite. But Ethan is not alone. Other teens have also posted on Reddit looking for similar answers, taking their health into their own hands. I definitely have received uh, messages and, and con I've had people contact me that are in a similar situation where they want to pursue vaccinations and their parent or authority figure doesn't believe it's right and that that's not a good decision and how they uh, approach that situation. While most states do require permission from parents for any medical procedures, in at least seven states, a relatively new legal concept called the mature minor doctrine allows teens to petition to make their own medical decisions. As measles and mumps outbreaks grow across the country, experts stress vaccinations are key. It's incredibly effective, 97% effectiveness with two doses of the vaccine, which is what's recommended for children, and it's inexpensive. As for Ethan, he says that getting vaccinated was the right choice for him and that he's also speaking out for the health of his siblings. When it comes to allowing children under 18 to vaccinate without an adult's consent, that's up to individual states. Federal health officials say the vaccine for measles, mumps, and rubella has been proven to be safe and effective. They say if you do not vaccinate your children, you're putting others at risk. Yeah, more about the community, not just exactly, your kids. Exactly, yes. All right, I thank you so much, Lindsay. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.